Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to feature the 2021 Pro Duo Ativa, which is just launched not too long ago. So I will start with the lowest variant of the Pro Duo Ativa first, which is the X variant right here. So the Pro Duo Ativa in Malaysia does come with three variants. The base model would be the X variant. Then moving on, we have the middle spec, which is the H variant as well as the top of the range the advanced variant so there are a lot of achievement for the Prodo Ativa in Malaysia because it uses 95% of the components which are made in Malaysia so for the Prodo Ativa it's built on the new platform which is the Hasu new global architecture so these chassis are proven to be more safety more stronger than the previous Prodo models as well as improved handling for the Pro Duo Activa. Okay, so let's start from the engine bay first. So this is the first turbocharged engine being featured in the Pro Duo vehicle. So this is a set of 1.0 liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine codenamed 1KR-VET. So the engine for the Pro Duo Activa standard across the range, you get the one liter turbo. It produces 98 horsepower and 140 newton meters of torque. So the figure may not seem powerful, but it's more than enough for daily basis. And the transmission is paired to a DCVT gearbox, which improves the fuel economy as well as the high-speed cruising of the Prodo Ativa. Alright, so now let's check out the exterior of this Prodo Ativa X variant. So for the Prodo Ativa in Malaysia, standard across the range, you get the full LED headlights with auto high beam. So you get me right, even the base model of the Prodo Ativa comes with the LED headlights with auto high beam. But the signals are not finished in sequential LED like you would in the H variant as well as the advanced variant. So for the X variant, this front grille right here is finished in a silver treatment instead of chrome in the H and the advanced variant and as you can see get some diamond kind of grille design which to me looks pretty sporty for the X variant it does not come with the LED fog lights which are present in the H variant and the advanced variant so this is just a plastic cover to differentiate this is the X variant and overall the front not too much of the change compared to the H variant and the advanced variant So this color paint job are also pretty nice. It's a metallic paint. And for the tires, the X variant gets a 16-inch non-duotone rim. Instead, for the H and the Advanced gets the 17-inch duotone rims. So this 16-inch measure in 205, 65, 16-inch rim. And the suspension front comprises of McPherson struts. The rear is a torsion beam setup. And to make the car look more SUV is Prodo have made this side plastic cladding to make the car look more rugged. You get the same side mirror design as the Prodo Arus, but unfortunately, it does not come with a 360 degree camera. Standard across the range, this A pillar is finished in a black cloud design, and only the advanced variant gets the option to choose a dual tone roof design between a red color and the white color paint job. The rest color are finished in this kind of combination. And right here they have highlighted the C pillar right? instead of the D pillar. So this kind of design doesn't feel as futuristic but it looks good nonetheless. And the door handle right here is not finished in chrome like you would in the advanced variant. So as for the rear, you may see some shader of the Proto Myvi judging from the LED tail lights. So the LED tail lights are standard across the range. Do mindful. 
and the signal light and the reverse light is finished in bulb. So this being an X variant, this panel right here is finished in a silver trimmer instead of chrome. So this being a one liter turbo charge engine, right here you get a T badging to signify this car is equipped with a turbo charge engine. So this is the Ativa nameplate, which is finished in a pretty nice font. Again, you get rear parking sensors. And this down part right is, is not finished in silver like you would in the H and the Advance. As you can see, and the front you lose out on the side sensors for the X radiant. So this is all about the exterior of this 2021 Pro Duo Activa X. So now let's check out the interior of the Pro Duo Activa. So standard across the range, this being a base model, you still get a killer sentry body stuff. Electrostatic type is not the button type, but it also comes with the function whereby you put your hands in, it will unlock the car. You need to press this button to lock or unlock the car. So for the interior treatment, these all are finished in hard plastic. And this part is uh, hard plastic. And right here you get your power window. Only the driver side gets the automatic function for both direction. And this is your side mirror controls. And this side mirror does not count with the auto fold function. Only you can get in the H and the advanced variant. You get the rather chunky handle right here, but they are not finished in any color mixture as you found in the advanced. For the seat upholstery, for the X and the H variant, it's finished in a high quality fabric seats with some patterns. Seat controls right here is all manually adjusted. Now let's get inside the car. The ground clearance is, is not that high, so it gives you an easy access inside the car. So let's close the door. Rather light but pretty solid door in my opinion. And right here you get a retractable cup holder and you, it, you can cool your drink by putting your drinks right here and the air convents facing your drink. And down here you get some blank buttons. So this is your auto high beam activation. And standard across the range, it does come with the Advanced Safety Assist 3.0 which comes with the Autonomous Emergency Braking. And this activation can be activated at any time instead of the ASA 2.0. Only can activate 3 times, then you need to restart the car to recalibrate the system. And this system can trigger at any time. So this is to turn off your Eco Idle, otherwise known as the Auto Start Stop system. This is your manual headlight leveling. This is to turn off your traction control. So this is the steering wheel of the Prodo Activa X. So basically it does not come with a ladder wrap steering wheel, nor the steering controls. It's a pretty basic steering wheel in my opinion, and with some silver linings. And this power button is your driving mode, which improves the sens sensitivity of the pedals as well as the gearbox response. And for the meter, it's finished in analog instead of the 7 inch TFT meter cluster as you found for the H and the advanced variant. And right here, you get your four modes cycle between your, your mileage, your trip, and your display. And the signal store is on the right, but it does not come with the automatic headlights. So here's the center console. So let's check out the dashboard quality. The dashboard quality are rather okay for a 70,000 ringgit car. It's rather solid and the fit and finish is all right. And moving to the center console right here, this is the X variant being the base model. It does not come with the nine inch infotainment display with mirroring, which you found in the H and the advanced variant. Instead, you get a rather basic head unit together with the Bluetooth connectivity. So this is something that you can upgrade after you bought the car, you go to your, any accessory shop to get it swapped. And luckily they have painted this part to a silver so that it won't feel dull, the interior, just full black. Down here is some texture finishing plastic and this is your push start ignition. And luckily Prodo does not cut cost in the aircon panel by offering the manual knock type. You still get the digital air conditioning with two sets of memory. 
So this is a similar aircon panel as you found in the Myvi and the Arus. So down here you get only a 12 volt socket together with two USB. But it does not come with the HDMI port. And this is paired with the DCVT gearbox. So you only have PR and D. You push to the right to entering sport mode or manual mode. The gear, the CVT of this product Activa does have seven virtual speed. And you get a mechanical handbrake, pretty chunky handbrake. And the door lock and unlock is special for the product Activa. It's mounted at the center console right here. So, which means that the passenger or the driver can lock the car by just put your finger on these two buttons. So it's a pretty convenient feature instead of they're putting at the door handle right here. And it does come with the armrest, but it's not wrapped in leather. It's wrapped in pretty hard touch plastic, but it's totally fine. You open up, it reveals a rather shallow storage space, but you still can put your phones in it. And you get a small slot right here to slot your car key. And the glove box right here does not have the damper, but it's totally fine for this kind of segment of car. But I appreciate when they add the damper at the glove box. And up here you get a seat belt reminder, your dimming light. And here's your sun visor together with a vanity mirror for both sides. And standard across the range, the product Activa does come with six airbags, anti rock braking system, electronic stability control, hill start assist, autonomous emergency braking. And additional to the advanced variant, you get the adaptive cruise control. So that's all about the front seats. Let's check out the rear seats. So let me adjust the seat for a while. And the steering wheel are only tilt but not telescopic. So let's check out the rear seat of the Prodo Activa. So the door opening are quite wide, so it gives you an easy access inside the car, which are the good thing. And this seat back right here can be reclined with two steps. This is the first level, and this is the second level. So right now, let's get inside the car. So right here, you get the cup holders and your mirror controls. This part is wrapped in hard plastic, standard. And you get two seats pocket at the front. And it does not come with the 3kg double hook like you would in the Myvi or the Arus. And it also does not come with the handbag hook. Down here, you lose up the USB port for the X variant, which the H and the Advanced does come with the USB ports. You get three adjustable headrests and two isofix for the outer seats. But it does not come with the center armrest. And the seat bench itself is rather short length, but the front seat bench is, is full length. So it gives you a better support in the Prodo Activa. So the rear bench is rather short length, but I can see inside it for a rather short journey of trips. Dimming lights for the rear and a retractable grip handle. So to fold down the rear seats, you can locate a lever at the outer seats right here. The seats of the Prodo Activa full 60-40 splits. So the boot space of the Activa is spacious. And this cardboard right here does get a two level. For the upper level, it reveals a rather flat loading floor. And down here, it does come with a spare tire, which follows the size of the original rim. And right here, you get the boot dimming light. And this is the cover of the Prodo Activa. In my opinion, I would appreciate when this is finished in a rather hard material so that you can put your things up. And because this is not an expensive car, so you don't expect a power boot. But the boot itself is rather light. So yeah, this is all about the walk around video of this 2021 Produa Activa X. So now I'm going to feature the Produa Activa H in the moment later. So stay tuned for that. And be sure to subscribe, like and share my video. I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.